What's up guys, PGH27 here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some silly putty actually. Silly putty and you can without, and how you make it is without glue, without borax, and without cornstarch. Sorry for my do not look at my hand, please. Okay, so I just woke up. Thank you. So, I'm going to make some like this. You can color any color you want. And pretty cool. It's actually really fun to play with. You just don't need to dry it up. You can put it in a plastic bag, or you can put it in a little container so it doesn't dry up. And if you if it dries up, you can just always make some more. So yeah, let's get started. So the ingredients you need are is a bowl, vegetable oil, and some flour and some water. Now, first what you need to do is oh. You also need a spoon. Oops, forget about that. Okay, so now you can just take the flour. You can scoop up as many spoonfuls as you want. And see how big you want it. I'm just gonna do like five, six. Okay. Don't make them really big spoonfuls, just make them like half spoonfuls, like about half of the spoon. Just one. Two. Three. Well, actually, I'm just going to do that because that seems to be okay. I'm just going to like kind of get it to one side of the bowl to get it all bunched up so you can make it. Okay. I'm just going to set this to the side. Now you're just going to put a little bit of water in there. And by a little bit, I mean just hair. Okay, so you're going to take your bowl of water. Thing of water. Here's my flour. And I'm just gonna dump a tiny bit in there. Okay, you gotta put them back up. Let me get something. Okay, there. So you have your flour right here. I'm just going to dump a little bit of water. I'm just going to dump a little right here. About that much. And you're going to get it in the flour right there. You can get it in the flour and then you're just going to stir it up. Keep stirring, keep stirring, keep stirring. Okay. I'm just going to stir a tiny bit in there and then I'll take your vegetable oil and just put a tiny, tiny bit in there, like this much, as much as you did with the water. That much, and then you're just going to stir it all up. Stir it all up, and as you can see, it's getting there. Oh, and I'm going to tell you how to tell you and show you how to make it a certain color you want without food coloring. And it actually works really well because I got this one without food coloring. Let me put this back in. Okay. 
You're just gonna keep stirring. And if you pick it up and it's too like watery, if you think it's too watery, just like that. Add more um add uh, more flour to it. You might need two spoons for this one. You get two spoons, you get a little bit more flour, like two more. If you, if you think it's too watery, two more. Actually, I'm going to put three more actually. Two. And then just keep stirring, keep stirring. If you want to test it, kind of just like poke at it. Like that. I think mine's about good. Mine's a pretty good size as well. I like this size. So now you're just going to keep stirring, keep stirring, keep stirring, keep stirring. And if you want some gloves for this so your hands don't get pretty freaking sticky and crap, and you can get gloves. Really messy, not sticky. So they're not really that sticky. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take all of it. You're gonna try your best to get all of it. And you're gonna take it and you're just gonna shake off all the extra flour. You're gonna try to at least. And you're just gonna knead it. Mine's a little bit too, um, however you call it, I'm gonna put one more back in here. A little too watery. I'm gonna put some more back in here. I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna shake off of the flour. Make it all stick. There, that should be good. Got all that extra flour. Okay, so now I'm just gonna knead it even more. So now, once you do that, it should end up like this a little bit. You can set all this stuff because I have this stuff so much water. I'm going to set this flower down. I'm done with everything. But I'm going to put my vegetable oil. Put 
each bag. Okay, so now once you have this consistency, you just keep on, keep on, keep on. Until. So now if you want it colored, and if you don't have any food coloring, I'll show you how to do that so it's clean. Mm -hmm. And no, this is not my house. I don't know that. Okay, so what I recommend is I recommend you have um, a Sharpie instead of a, instead of a marker. Because I tried Sharpies and they look really, way better. Now, if you want your thing to be, if you want your, um, Putty to be um, white, you just keep it like this. If you want it to be a uh, lighter color, then use a crayon. I mean, not crayon, but a marker. And if you want it to be darker, use a sharpie. Because that's how it makes it really dark. And I like it when it's color dark. So it's like dark. So I go bright blue now. That's really cool. I got dark orange when I do that. Take it up into a ball, near ball, and then what you're gonna do? Yeah. Which kind of tap spots all over. This doesn't look that much. So okay, so I'm just gonna do a little bit right now. It actually does make it black. Okay, so I'm gonna get the one sound in the Oh yeah, this works. This works really good. Cool. Just gonna tap on it and see how well it works. How well sharp it is. Tapping, 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 just keep on freaking tapping. Look back. Okay, so right now I'm so Okay, so if you just if you want it fully black or any color if you want it fully like that. I can do this now so if I made it fully black. What? Yeah, I need some more. Just keep on doing that with all the white spots and stuff. I'm gonna do it one more time, and you guys can go and do it for yourself.
Okay, so like I said, if you want it fully, fully black or whatever, but you can use it in the or not, then just keep on doing it until it's fully colored, like a little orange one. And then, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys, hope this helped you guys go make your own silly buddy, actually. It's really fun to play with and make. It doesn't stick to your hands at all. You know how regular silly putties all stick to like rubber and stuff? My iPad has rubber on it. I just stick it to that. Nothing is on my iPad. And it, it, silly putty also sticks to your shirt. So, this is actually really fun. Go try it out for yourselves. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.